For 46 years, Voyager 1 has been silently drifting into the abyss, a lonely traveler on a path with no return, beyond the warmth of our sun, beyond the reach of any planet, deeper into the void than any creation of human hands has ever dared to go. It left Earth during a time when disco ruled the airwaves and rotary phones were still the norm. And yet here it is, still breathing, still speaking, still watching. But what if I told you that something has changed? That this relic of the 20th century has just sent back a transmission that no one, not even the most optimistic astrophysicists, ever expected. Not a glitch, not noise, but a discovery. A moment so profound it forced NASA to revisit its own models. A signal so strange that top engineers are debating whether Voyager is observing something or being observed. Tonight, we unravel the terrifyingly beautiful mystery that just emerged from the edge of interstellar space. Because what Voyager 1 has just uncovered isn't just unimaginable. It may rewrite everything we think we know about what lies beyond the stars. It's hard to imagine that the Voyager 1 spacecraft, built with computing power far weaker than today's cheapest smartphones, has outlived generations of scientists, engineers, presidents, and even entire space programs. Launched in 1977, it was designed to last just five years, long enough to complete a tour of the gas giants. Yet decade after decade, Voyager defied expectations. It wasn't just the longevity that stunned experts. It was the consistency. Through solar storms, cosmic radiation, extreme cold, and mechanical decay, the probe remained operational, ticking like an old clock in a vacuum of time. While its twin, Voyager 2, followed a slightly different route, Voyager 1 began to venture upward, out of the plane of the solar system and into the great unknown. With its golden record, that ambitious greeting from humanity to the stars, bolted to its side, the spacecraft didn't just travel further. It became a ghost ambassador, silently crossing the border into a region we call the interstellar medium. But despite the silence, it never stopped talking. And now, after nearly five decades, it has whispered something that has scientists holding their breath. The edge of the solar system isn't a place. It's a threshold, an invisible curtain drawn across space where the influence of our sun begins to fade and the forces of interstellar space take over. Voyager 1 crossed that line in 2012. Officially, it became the first man-made object to leave the bubble of our solar wind and sail into true interstellar territory. But things didn't behave as expected. The magnetic field on the other side wasn't entirely different. Plasma density spiked, but the orientation remained strangely consistent. And then came the low-frequency plasma waves, pulses of energy that Voyager began to detect like echoes bouncing off unseen walls. Scientists were intrigued, but not alarmed. That is, until now. Because Voyager's latest transmission didn't just include anomalies. It included a structured pattern, a sequence of pulses that repeated at irregular but deliberate intervals. Not noise, not random, something else entirely. And while some are calling it a natural phenomenon, Others, more quietly, are wondering if we've just received the first message, not from Voyager, but through it. One of Voyager's most surprising components is its plasma wave instrument, a delicate system that records the density of the space around it by listening to the vibrations of charged particles. It wasn't meant to survive this long, especially not in the cold, dark void where temperatures flirt with absolute zero. And yet, not only is it working, it recently sent back data that defies explanation. Against every engineering forecast, the instrument picked up a frequency shift in a region where nothing should be shifting. A spectral echo, as if something passed nearby, bending space just slightly, too subtly for telescopes on Earth to notice, but just enough for a machine built in the 70s to catch it. Engineers checked for system failures, calibration errors, even background interference from Earth. Nothing. The signal was clean, and it came from outside. Some have speculated gravitational lensing, others theorize dark matter interactions. But one hypothesis is gaining traction among fringe physicists, that the signal wasn't caused by what Voyager passed, but by what passed Voyager. 
When the transmission was converted into a visual spectrogram, researchers expected the usual noise, spikes, static, decay. But this time, something appeared in the data that sent chills through the room. A wave structure, repeating every 19.3 seconds, formed what could only be described as a waveform with intentional curvature, like a sine wave drawn by hand, layered with complex harmonics. What stunned analysts wasn't just the symmetry, but the distortion that appeared within the wave, as if something had interfered mid-transmission, not like static, but like an insertion. It resembled a mathematical spiral embedded within the waveform, a structure found in nature, in galaxies, in hurricanes, in seashells, the Fibonacci sequence, a language of the universe itself. But this wasn't naturally occurring data, this was embedded. And if that's true, then the Voyager probe may not just be recording the unknown, it may be relaying a message left for us to find. The question is, left by what? One of the first things that puzzled NASA wasn't what was received, but when. Voyager's signal, traveling at the speed of light, typically takes over 22 hours to reach Earth. But this time, there was a strange delay, a gap of several minutes. Initially, this was dismissed as a technical glitch, a relay issue, a bounce off Earth's deep space network, perhaps even solar interference. But upon closer inspection, the signal's structure itself showed signs of interference that couldn't be traced back to Voyager or to Earth. It was as if something between the spacecraft and us had intercepted, altered, or rerouted the data before it arrived. Scientists likened it to hearing your own echo in a perfectly silent room, an echo that shouldn't exist unless there was something else there. The haunting idea began to emerge that Voyager's signal had not traveled alone. Something may have passed through its stream, not blocking it, but riding it. Like a parasite on a beam of light, bending it, speaking through it. The silence of deep space no longer felt so empty. After the time delay was observed, analysts dug deeper into the signal's frequency. That's when something even more unsettling emerged an irregular distortion layered into the lower harmonics of the transmission. The distortion wasn't just noise. It bore a unique identifier, like a signature, faint but consistent. Imagine listening to a symphony and suddenly hearing a second melody playing underneath the music, perfectly synchronized, but written in a different key. That's what this was. The engineering teams called it a phantom frequency. And while the term may sound poetic, its implications are anything but. If this frequency didn't come from Voyager, and it didn't come from Earth, then it originated from something else, something in the space in between. Some proposed that it could be a natural wave echo from an unknown type of plasma interaction. But others, looking at the mathematical precision of the phantom tone, quietly suggested that it could be artificial, a code hidden within chaos, as if something was piggybacking on Voyager's signal waiting to be heard. Beyond the heliopause, Voyager entered a region once believed to be relatively inert, a quiet, cold vacuum where only sparse particles drifted. But in recent years, the data coming back tells a different story. This region isn't empty. It's dense with unknowns, magnetic filaments, rogue particles, strange currents that shift direction without explanation. And now, Voyager 1 has detected something else a repeating anomaly in the plasma readings that forms a consistent field, like a barrier. NASA scientists refer to it as the interstellar wall, but what's baffling is its uniformity. Space isn't supposed to form walls, and yet this one appears to resist change, remaining in place despite the constant drift of the probe. When charted over time, the anomaly even curves slightly, suggesting it may not be a wall at all, but the outer skin of something larger, a bubble, a boundary, or perhaps a shell, enclosing something that defies our understanding of space itself. Voyager, unknowingly, may be brushing against the outer limits of something we never imagined was there. Attached to Voyager 1 is the Golden Record, a phonograph carrying sounds and images from Earth, encoded with greetings, music, and instructions for how to play it. A gift to the cosmos, a message in a bottle, but what if that message has already been found? The idea was once relegated to science fiction, yet as Voyager continues to send back increasingly bizarre data, delays, distortions, echoes, 
phantom signals, some are beginning to wonder, what if something read that record and decided to respond? What if this entire string of anomalies is the beginning of a conversation, not an accident? Engineers working with machine learning tools have run deep analyses on the signal noise and claim to detect patterns, not just rhythms, but repetition that grows more complex with time, as if whatever is interacting with the probe is learning. From plasma waves to magnetic shifts, from light echoes to signal bending, everything Voyager is reporting feels like more than data. It feels like contact. And if that's true, then Voyager's mission hasn't just been one of exploration. It may have just become the first handshake with something beyond. So now we are left with more questions than answers. A spacecraft launched nearly half a century ago, built with 1970s engineering and powered by decaying plutonium, has just sent back a signal that challenges everything we thought we knew about the cosmos. A delay that shouldn't exist. A frequency that bears a hidden signature. A structure in space that feels more like a wall than a wind. And a possible reply, not from humanity, but to it. Is it all coincidence? A tangle of natural phenomena wrapped in a cloak of speculation? Or is it something more? Something waiting on the other side of the darkness? Because Voyager 1 wasn't designed to return. It's not a drone. It's not a shuttle. It's a message. One we sent blindly into the night, never expecting a reply. But what if the night just whispered back? What if the echo we're hearing is the sound of something waking up? Something watching? Something answering? The truth is, we don't know. And that's what makes it terrifying. Because out there, in a place where no light reaches and no human voice has ever spoken, Voyager 1 just found a signal. And it wasn't ours. If this is only the beginning, what's next?